Hey what's up everybody, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to install the preview build of Android M on your Nexus device. Now Google just announced this at I.O. and within an hour or so a preview build of the upcoming version of Android was released for Nexus devices. So far, the list of supported devices only includes the Nexus 5, Nexus 6, Nexus 9, and the Nexus Player. So if you have one of these devices and you'd like to try out the latest version of Android before it's officially released, the first thing you'll need to do is enable developer options on your phone or tablet. That's because we'll be using Nexus Root Toolkit, which is a Windows program that makes it incredibly easy to install factory images on your Nexus device. And it doesn't matter if you're rooted or not, but you should be aware that if you install this preview build, you will lose root and all of your data. But to begin, head to the main settings menu on your device, then scroll down to the bottom and tap About Phone or About Tablet. From here, scroll down to the bottom again, then tap the build number entry seven times in rapid succession. This will enable a hidden developer options menu. So back out one level, then head into this new menu. After that, scroll down a bit and enable the USB debugging option then press OK on the pop-up. Now as a side note for Nexus 6 owners, you'll also have to enable the Allow OEM Unlock option in this same menu. But with all that out of the way, go ahead and connect your phone to your PC with a USB data cable. At this point, you should see a pop-up message on your phone asking if you'd like to allow the computer to connect. Just tick the box next to Always Allow and press OK on this pop-up. And if you don't see this message right away, just keep an eye out for it because it'll definitely pop up at some point in the process. But the rest of the work will be done on the PC actually. The first thing you'll need to do here is download the Android M preview images for your device. These can be found at developer.android.com slash preview, but I also have a direct link to this page at the full tutorial. So head to this page, then scroll down just a little bit, and click the link next to your device. From here, tick this box to agree to the terms and conditions, then click the download button. Okay, so while that's downloading, it's time to grab the tool that will help you install the images. It's an awesome Windows program called Nexus Root Toolkit from developer Wugfresh, and you can grab a copy from wugfresh.com slash nrt. From here, just scroll down a bit until you find the download section, then use one of these links to download the program. In the meantime, I'm going to skip ahead to a point when both of these downloads are finished. Okay, so with nrt and the preview images downloaded, the next thing you'll need to do is install the Nexus Root Toolkit on your system. So launch the exe that just finished downloading, then follow the prompts to get the toolkit installed on your computer. When all that's finished, NRT will ask you what device you're using and what version of Android it's currently running. So select your device from this top menu, then if you're not sure which Android version you're running, refer back to that build number in settings that you tapped seven times. From here, click apply, then you'll get a message telling you to enable USB debugging on your device. We've already done that part, but if you didn't get that allow USB debugging pop-up when you first plugged in your device, now would be a good time to check and see if the message has appeared. But at this point, Nexus Root Toolkit will ask you to download several files. You can skip this part if you want to, but I'd recommend letting it download everything it needs. So once you make it to the Nexus Root Toolkit's main menu, the first thing you should do is hit up this button right up top, Full Driver Installation Guide. And here, skip ahead to Step 3, then click the button under Driver Solution Number 1. At this point, just follow the prompts for installation to get all of the ADB and Fastboot drivers installed on your system. When that's finished, you're ready to install the Android M preview build. Head over here and click Flash Dock plus Unroot. Click OK on this first window, then on this second window you'll need to make some changes. So tick the box next to Other slash Browse up top, then make sure the second option is set to I downloaded a factory image myself that I would like to use instead. When you press OK, you'll be shown a file browser window. Use this menu to head to your download folder, then select the factory image that you downloaded earlier. Next, a window will pop up asking for the MD5 number. This is available at the factory image page if you want to be on the safe side, but it's not a requirement. So I'll click skip here, then hit OK to verify my choice. At this point, the factory images will be extracted and prepared, and when it's ready, you'll get this confirmation dialog. Go ahead and click OK on this message if you're ready to install Android M. This next part will take a good 5 or 10 minutes, but I've sped it up here. Don't panic if it seems to be stuck on one aspect of the install, just give it a minute or two to get over the hump. When it's done, you'll get a confirmation dialog that you can go ahead and close out. At this point, it's safe to unplug your Nexus and start using Android M. 
Some of the key features of this release include automatic app backup, a granular permission control interface, as well as a new mobile payment system. And I know this was a lot to absorb from one video, so if you'd like to follow along at your own pace, be sure to check out my full tutorial over on GadgetHacks.com. As always though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!